Hello boys and girls. Welcome to Stay at Home Storytime with Mrs. H. Today I have a great book. It's a good a book about good ideas. Have you ever had a really good idea? I have lots of ideas that pop into my head. It's like this light bulb just goes off in my brain sometimes. Sometimes my ideas are good and sometimes they're not so good. Sometimes my plans get ruined, whatever my ideas are. Well, today in our story, we're gonna learn about a very, very, very good idea that God had. An idea better than any idea I've ever had. But there's only one problem. His idea got ruined by people like you and like me. Let's get ready to listen to today's story and find out what this very good idea was. Are you ready? Get up and get your wiggles out. I wiggle my fingers and I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders and I wiggle my nose. Now there's no more wiggles left in me, so I'll sit as quiet as quiet can be. Here we go. God's Very Good Idea. A true story about God's delightfully different family. Written by Trillia Newbill. Illustrated by Catalina Excaver. In the beginning, in fact, before the beginning, God had a very good idea. It was an even better idea than solar panels. It was even better than chocolate chip cookies. It was a better idea than the super soaker. It was even better than TV. It was better than fireworks and roller skates and a life raft. It was better than the x-ray machine. God's idea was to make people, lots of people, lots of different people. People who would all enjoy loving him and all enjoy loving each other. They would all be made in his image. They would all be like mirrors reflecting what God is like. Because God is full of love, they would be full of love too. So God got to work. He made a beautiful world for people to live in. Then he made the first people, a man and a woman. And he said to them, Be happy. Enjoy loving me and loving each other. Have a huge family that will fill the earth and look after the earth and enjoy the earth. All of them were made in his image. God created more and more people. And all of them were different too. Some were men. Some were women. Some liked reading. Some had darker skin. Some had lighter skin. Some liked riding bikes. Some had curly hair. Some had straight hair. We live in God's world. We are all different, but we are also all the same. Everyone you see is different than you and the same as you. They might look different or speak different or play different, but they are all made in God's image, and so they are all valuable. This is God's very good idea. But people ruined God's very good idea. The first people chose not to love God. This is called sin. And because they chose not to love God as they should, they forgot how to love each other as they should. We are the same. We choose not to love God, and so we are not able to love each other like we should. We sin. Sometimes we treat others badly because they are different than us. People fight with each other. People are mean to each other. People laugh at each other. Because we have ruined God's very good idea, he is not pleased with us. Our sin means we can't be friends with him or enjoy living with him. We need God's forgiveness for ruining his very good idea. It's the same for everyone in the world. People who like reading need forgiveness, and people who like riding bikes need forgiveness. People with darker skin need forgiveness, and people with lighter skin need forgiveness. People with curly hair need forgiveness, and people with straight hair need forgiveness. But God was not surprised by people ruining things. 
he had always had a very good plan to rescue his very good idea. So God got to work. He came to earth as a person, Jesus. Jesus loved people who were different than him. He loved people who no one else loved. He always enjoyed loving all the different people he met. Jesus shows us how to enjoy loving each other. But people didn't love Jesus. Instead, they hated him. They put him on a cross to die. But this was part of God's plan. On the cross, Jesus took our sins so that we can be forgiven. Jesus forgives his people for their sins. Jesus didn't stay dead. He rose back to life and then went back to live in heaven. And then he gave people his spirit to help them enjoy loving him and loving all the different people they know. Jesus helps us to love each other. One day, God will finish his very good idea. Jesus will come back and make the world perfect again. And anyone who has asked Jesus to forgive them will live there with their different languages and their different skin colors and their different hair. They will enjoy loving God and loving each other. They will enjoy praising God for making, rescuing, and finishing his very good idea. But here's a very, very, very good part of God's very good idea. You don't have to wait till then to enjoy it. Jesus welcomes anyone who asks him to forgive them. And when Jesus welcomes someone, he welcomes them into his family forever. He welcomes people who like reading and people who like riding bikes. He welcomes people with darker skin and people with lighter skin. He welcomes people with curly hair and people with straight hair. God's family is called the church. Your church friends are your brothers and sisters, your wonderful and colorful church family. You can enjoy loving them and loving God with them. This is God's very good idea. Lots of different people enjoying loving him and loving each other. God made it. People ruined it. He rescued it. He will finish it. And with your church family, you can enjoy being part of it right now. The end. What a great story. What was God's very good idea? His very good idea was to make lots of different people. People who would all love him and who would all love each other. God made us each in his own image. Do you know what an image is? It's what happens when you look in the mirror. In fact, I have a little mirror here right with me. When I look at my reflection in the mirror, what do you think I see? I see me. That's right. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? No, silly, you don't see me. You see you. Even though we both look different when we look in the mirror, we should all look like God in the way that we love others. We should reflect God's love so that when other people see us, they see God's love. Well, in our story, we learned a lot about the way God made us each different, different hair, different heights, different skin colors, different abilities, but he also made each of us the same. We were made in his image to show his love to others. There was a big butt in the story, wasn't there? Oh, boys and girls, not that kind of butt. It was one of those big uh-oh butts. That's right, what happened to God's really good idea? Sin happened. People sinned. Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, and since then we've all chosen to not love God and to sin. And when we sin, we often don't love others the way God created them. In fact, we sometimes look at people who are different than ourselves, and we decide we're going to make fun of them because they're different. Or maybe we just treat them different. Or maybe we call them names because they're different than us. That's not the kind of love God wants us to have for each other. That's not the kind of love that reflects God's image. But God had a plan. God knew that we were going to sin. 
And so he had a plan to send his son to save us from our sins. You've heard lots about how Jesus died on the cross to forgive us for our sins. He came to this earth and lived a perfect life. He loved everyone, even people who were different than him. But people didn't love him and they killed him on a cross. He died on that cross so that you and I could be forgiven for our sins and so that we really could learn to love others the way God loves us. In our story at the end, there was a great little rhyme that I think we should all learn. Do you remember what it was? Think real hard. That's right. That little rhyme said this, God made it, people ruined it, he rescued it, he will finish it. Can you say that with me? God made it, people ruined it, he rescued it, he will finish it. That's right. God's very, very good plan was that he made people in his own image, each different, but all in his image. People ruined it. You and I have sinned, and we don't love others the way that God wants us to. But God rescued it. God sent his son Jesus to rescue us from our sin and to show us how to love others. And he will finish it. Last Sunday, if you were here at church outside, you know what it's like when the church is all together. People who know God and love God. It's like a big family party. It's so much fun. Someday, everyone who knows Jesus as their Savior will be together as one family. We get a little picture of that when we're together as a church now. And that's where we can learn to love each other. People who are different than us. People who look different. People who sing different. People who do different things, who like different things, people who are better at things than us. We can all learn to love each other because we're all part of God's family. Wasn't that a great idea that God had? I'm so glad that you joined me for story time to hear about God's very, very good idea. Join me next week for another story time.